everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. I have a, a lot to announce, and of course, starting with this week, Niantic has announced the season of Alola and the debut of Pokemon from Gen 7, a.k.a. Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon versions for the Nintendo 3DS, as confirmed in the Pokemon Presents video that was released this week on Sunday, February 27th, by the Pokemon Company and Game Freak. The following Pokemon are available to catch in the wild from Gen 7. They include the starters such as Litten, Poplio, and Rollet and their evolutions, Yang Yan Goose, Peepek, and Jamago. As for the new raid bosses, Rough Rock, and of course, Tapacoco, which is the current legendary raid boss in the game. And there's also a collection challenge where you have to co collect five of the mentioned Pokemon I talked about. And there's also a special research to open up the season of Alola. And of course, the new region exclusive Pokemon, which can only be found in the state of Hawaii in the United States of America is Comfy, which is based on on a traditional Hawaiian Hawaiian lei. And of course, the new shiny Pokemon for this launch would be Young Goose and its evolution Gung Goose and Rough Rock. Young Goose can only evolve into Gung Goose during the day time. Well, Rough Rock can evolve into Lycan Rock during the day or night. If you evolve Rough Rock into Lycan Rock during the day, it will evolve into its midday, mid, yeah, midday form. If you evolve it at night, it will evolve into Lycan Rock's midnight form. And of course, Rough Rock, as well as Gem Mango, can be found in 10k eggs, while the Alolan starters can be found in 5k eggs. Gum Goose and Peepek can be found in 2k eggs. You can also find the Alolan forms of some of the Cantonian Pokemon in the game in 7k eggs as well as through field research rewards and of course also part of the season of Alola is the battle ticket which of course anyone whether you're an experienced player versus player battler or inexperienced or and pretty much not good at it such as myself gives you a me meaning to it's a reason to to want to battle because you'll get rewards for completing the timed research, which mainly consists of Stardust. And of course, there's a lot more. Niantic also announced that the next community day, which will be on March 13th, will be Santru Community Day, which of course You'll be able to catch both Cantonian and Alolan Santru and get their shiny forms as well. And there will also be a, a special research event with, with a ticket that costs a dollar or equal currency depending on which part of the world you are in. No details on what the special event will be called. 
as of this recording. In other Pokemon news, also announced this week during the Pokemon Presents, the updates to Legends Arceus, Pokemon Unite, and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl include the following. For Pokemon Legends Arceus, a code that allows you to get 30 of each of the fully upgraded craft made Pokeballs that you, you know, craft in Legends Arceus, including the Ultra Ball and the Jet Ball, and there's also the Daybreak update for Legends Arceus. For um, Pokemon Unite, there was a Pokemon Day event. And of course, there are also other neat tidbit, tidbits in regards to Pokemon Unite. As for Pokemon Cafe Remix, Shiny Pinpluck is available for a limited time as a customer, and you can potentially get Shiny Pinpluck to join your staff as well. Both Pokemon Unite and Cafe Remix are, are available exclusively for the Nintendo Switch and on Android and iOS platforms. And of course, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl also reintroduced Oak's Letter, which of course was also available in the original Gen 4 games. And as of this recording, Pokemon Home support for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus is not available, but it's still slated to come later this year. And of course, speaking of Pokemon and the Nintendo Switch, it was also confirmed and announced that Generation 9, which will be Scarlet and Violet versions, will be coming to the Switch later this year, which of course they showed some footage of what to expect in these new titles. As well as they showed off the the starters. Which of course I don't know their names right now, but the grass type starter resembles a cat, while the fire type starter resembles a crocodilian reptile, and the water type starter resembles a duck. More details on Scarlet version and Violet version will come in the months ahead. One more thing. I will be doing the Community Day video for Santru Community Day later this month. And of course, live streams may be temporarily halted because I'm still in the process of getting a new headset. I'm talking about if I stream from the computer, but if I'm streaming from the phone, that's a different story. I will be able to still carry out live streams, such as Spotlight Hour, Raid Hour, and Community Days. Thanks for watching, everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure! Also, during these times, wear a mask in places that still require you to wear a mask, such as in hospitals, schools, or public transportation. Wash your hands, as always. Carry hand sanitizer with you or use hand sanitizer that's provided to you in public as well as practice social distancing, especially if you are sick. And most importantly, get vaccinated and boosted. And of course, stay safe, stay healthy together. We are finally getting through these dark times together at last.